Okay, so it occurred to me that when I made a video explaining how to get any Prime Warframe, as well as my weekly reset guide videos that I do, I neglected to mention how to actually unlock this steel pack. There will also be time codes in the description below if you want to skip to a certain subject or a certain area, like if you know how to unlock the steel path already, but you want tips to make it quicker, or you want to see the point in unlocking the steel path. Whatever you want, there will be time codes because I don't expect all of you to you know basically i don't want to waste your guys time with however long this video will be so yeah i'm going to show you guys the way to unlock this to path as well as give some tips afterwards and i'm going to reference this video and a lot of my other videos where you need this to path for stuff going forward for those of you guys that don't know, the Steel Path actually has Steel Path mode. You can switch back and forth between the two. The only requirement is that you complete the whole star chart. Like the whole star chart. Every single node. Now it can somewhat be annoying to keep track of which nodes you have complete and whatnot but i'm going to show you guys a trick to that which will involve going to a relay we are on earth relay for reasons but technically you can go to any relay this is exactly the same i know you have the urge to teleport but do not teleport. I repeat, do not teleport. Instead, what you want to do is keep on going until you get to, coincidentally, this is the dude we need. Abedez of Hexes, dude, okay? One of the dudes, I forget which one, will actually tell you what nodes you're missing unless they change it in which case let me know and then just skip to a different section of this video now some of you guys may be wondering what's the point of unlocking this steel path doing all the nodes seems needlessly annoying well there are a few good things to come of it first of all there is the whole increased drop mod drop chance, which also increases endo drop chance, by the way. Just an FYI, small little tidbit there. Challenging, if you like challenges in general. And then the, the whole fact that you can get still essence, which we will come back to. But... If that's not enough, in the Divide Paradox, once you have Steel Path mode unlocked, there are different incarnate Genesis adapters that you can get for specific weapons. I haven't been doing them a whole lot lately, but they are available. And since I did bring up the whole still essence thing we are going to go to the relay once again like i said before it can technically be any relay i just like this relay i've been going to it all the time like ever since warfarm became available on console and this time i'm going to fast travel to teshin okay now teshin Normally, he only has Conclave rewards and whatnot. But, if you have the Steel Path unlocked, he had the Steel Path 
honors rewards. And he actually takes still essence as his currency. No credits at this time. No endo, just the still essence. You can buy relic packs, which 25 per customer per week. You can buy Kuba, 10,000 Kuba with each one of these. 25 per customer per week. They actually changed this. It used to be back in the day that it wasn't just 25 per customer per week, but they kind of don't want people getting burnt out just farming the steel path. Definitely let me know comment section below what you think of that. I've heard a lot of different opinions on the issue, and I'd love to know your opinion on the issue and everything else. He also, I already buy it for a week, so it disappeared, but he also has ribbon ciphers for sale for 20 steel essence. What a ribbon cipher does is it basically auto completes the challenge. Picture it like a cipher for spy missions, but instead a cipher for ribbon. So it just auto completes the challenge, which is very convenient in some cases, especially if you're an aspiring content creator, you know, maybe your favorite content creator, and you know, you just want to make a video quickly opening the ribbon and don't have time or skills enough to do the challenge. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, anyway, this video has gone on long enough. I've rambled quite a bit. I'm sure you guys don't want to hear me rambling anymore. This video, don't worry, I'll be rambling in future videos to come. Feel free to subscribe. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Later.